Okay, so this is just a quick video on shoulder and ankle holsters and uh, why I think they're important uh, to have in your everyday carry. Um, okay, so right now it's fall. We're getting ready, you know, for fall winter season coming up and we wear, you know, normally jackets, uh, whether it's a sports jacket or a lightweight jacket, whatever. Um, and I think a shoulder holster is a good alternative or an addition to your everyday carry because if you're like me and you're in the car or in the winter and the fall I tend to go to movie theaters more often um, I think it's a very very good way to carry a gun so you can have easy access so you know if you're in a car and you wear inside the waistband as I normally do either at one o'clock or four o'clock if God forbid you are in a instantaneous carjacking situ situation it's very difficult to undo your seatbelt if you wear one and and draw now depending on your body type if you're you know I'm on the thinner side I guess uh, but if you are if you're very heavy and you have a, a belly uh, you, you might not be able to draw that gun too quickly and uh, a lot of people are also not too agile if uh, you're getting up there in age, you know, a lot of us, we don't move as quickly as we used to do. So, you know, again, if in, in a flash, if you're at a light and someone comes up to you with a knife or a gun or something like that, and you have to undo your seatbelt and then try to reach and maneuver to get that gun out of your uh, waistband, that's, that's a problem. Now, the thing with an ankle holster and this is just a, a, I don't even know what brand it is, a Black Hawk maybe. I got it on um, Amazon. It's got a Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380 in it. This is meant to be worn on my left leg. So that means the gun is going to be on the inside right part of my left leg. Okay, so now when I'm driving, if I it's simply sitting, my right foot is on the gas pedal, my left leg is normally bent up slightly. This gun is so easily acceptable if I had to pull this out. And if you know you're going to be in somewhat of a dangerous neighborhood, don't put that little retention strap on. It's still a hell of a lot of retention. This gun is not going anywhere. You could just keep it like that and you could draw very quickly from it. Um, as far as the shoulder holster, this is a Beretta 92FS, so this is a full-size gun, 15 rounds in it. And this one right here is a fantastic shoulder holster. I don't know where I got this. I got it a while, but again, I use it more in the fall and the winter. And if I had to draw from either a seated position, either in a car or, like I said before, in a movie theater, you know, in a movie theater, God forbid some kind of tragedy happens and you need to pull that gun quickly. Um, it, it's it's very easily to uh, very easy to not be able to grab that gun as quick as you want it. In a shoulder holster, it's right there. You could literally, the minute you hear a problem, you literally could put your hand right on the gun and, and have it there. So this is just one example of a shoulder holster. Another one that I carry in a shoulder holster is this uh, 357 Magnum, and this is a Ruger SP-101 in this uh, nice brown shoulder holster. I got brown originally because I had brown grips on it, but uh, it's still fine. Uh, this same thing again, the five shot 357 heavy gun. You, you don't feel it when you have it on, on a shoulder holster. One of the things about shoulder holsters is they should have a retention strap on the right hand side to balance it out. So you just clip that on your belt on the right hand side and it holds the thing nice and secure. Also if you have back problems a shoulder holster is a good alternative. And last but not least I just did my everyday carry for the fall and this is the trusty Walther PPK in a Galco shoulder holster and um, I this is one of my most you know comfortable guns of course I'm a big James Bond fan so I had to get a shoulder holster for my PPK but uh, this is the Galco uh, light, classic light, whatever they call it. Uh, you know, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks, something like that. It's a great, great, uh, easy way to carry it. This one does come with the extra magazine holder. Those other two that I showed you did not, so you can keep an extra magazine in there. 
which I normally do when I'm carrying it. And uh, again, in a movie theater, in a car, in a seated position in a restaurant, you know, it's very, very easy to not be able to access the gun when you need it. The other thing about um, a uh, ankle holster, which I'm a big fan of, and I've been carrying them for years. Most of the time I used to carry a snubby years ago, but now I carry smaller 380s because they made them so small and lightweight. You know, if you're ever involved in any kind of physical altercation, and if you're not extremely skilled, so that means if you're not a really good boxer or if you know martial arts and if you don't know how to put someone down rather quickly, a lot of times a fight is going to end up on the ground. Probably 90% of the time it's going to end up on the ground. If it's a big guy, he's going to bear hug you and slam you to the ground. If that happens, just try to get a gun out of a four o'clock position when you're on your back. It's going to be impossible. It's also going to hurt your back. That, that, that gun is going to be smashed into, into your kidney and you're not going to feel too good. But if you have a gun in an in a ankle holster, um, if you, again, have any kind of MMA skills and if you could, um, you know, grab the guy in a leg lock and, you know, you have, you, you, you have quick, nice, easy access to your gun. And if this is what you got to do to get him off, if he's coming at you with deadly intent, you know, you pull that out of your ankle and you do what you got to do. So these are just my thoughts on it. There's probably many other reasons why people carry shoulder and ankle holsters, but I figured I'd throw it out there. I've had some subscribers ask me what my thoughts were on it, and there you go. All right, so thanks very much and have a good day.